Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This is Soho California Vintage and I'm actually doing something a little different. I want to see how this style of filming would work. Um, there are times when I'm not, I cannot film during the day and I'm up late at night and it's actually 3 a.m. in the morning on Sunday. <laughs> so good morning to everybody. <laughs> And um, I just wanted to see if this is a better filming technique to get um, a better precision on um, items that I'm trying to show you and just basically capture its beauty. So um, I'm going to start off with, I actually went to the community and I, I had some really cool, <clears throat> excuse me. I went to the community and I picked up some really cool finds. So I'm hoping that um, you guys enjoy the ones that I picked. And if you're interested, email me at SohoCaliforniaVintage at gmail.com. And shipping domestic, it is $5 underneath a pound. And let me give you a measurement on this. Sorry about the click clacking. And then I'll zoom you in. So the full length on this is okay. This is this is a little hard. Let me pull it for me. So we're looking at the drop is about thirteen inches. Yeah, the drop is 13 inches. These are glass faceted stones. Beautiful. And they do have a lot of weight. I actually had picked up another set. Um, I had, no, I owned one identical to this, but it was an AB. Absolutely gorgeous. And I gave it to a friend of mine, her mother. Um, I just felt compelled to give it to her mom as a gift her mom was moving away and so anyway she loved it these are heavy there is some wear on the clasp right here but this clasp is like heavy duty okay so um this necklace glass faceted will be 20 oh my god it's just gorgeous and it's perfect for fall and winter right now Okay, um, I recently had got this jade bracelet, um, in a lot, but the stone had popped out and I fixed it. So this jade bracelet, we're looking at, uh, it's seven, seven and a quarter. Yeah, seven and a quarter. So I use my Presidium, everything tested as Jade, except for the last one. The last one's most likely going to be Onyx. And it is a um, pop-in clasp, and it has the little safeties on the side. Say like that. So this one, um, I don't know if I give a price. Oh my god, my memory is swear. Um... Let's just do, um, I'll do 22 on this one. Let's just do 22. Okay, I got this gorgeous sterling silver necklace. They have, um, it looks, it reminds me of like a sun. And it has dried flowers. Isn't that cute? Oh my god, I love it. I love the combination of dried flowers too. Look at that. So let me give you the length on the necklace. And this one, um, this one will be, we're going to do 32 on this one. This one's 32. So the drop, we're looking at. is well it would help if it's not tangled right 
It's eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters is the drop. And it's solid sterling. It is stamped Mexico 925. What else does it say? TS15. It's probably just the location of the artist. Okay. Okay, I have this um, Trafari Heart and Doggy Charm bracelet. This is so cute. The length on this is seven and a quarter, but if you want it smaller, you could always, you know, use one of these links to make it smaller. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at how cute these charms are. We have a poodle. Um, I don't forgot the name of those dogs. They're like, they're typically gray. I don't know if this is a terrier or a, I think it, no, it's a Scotty dog. That's a Scotty dog. Another poodle. Another one of those. I don't know what dog that is. So, um, for this bracelet, we'll do 15. I've never come across a Trafari charm bracelet with do little doggies. It's so cute. Okay. So this one. This one's really cute. It is. It's just a gold tone. There is a tiny mark on the clasp. I don't know what it says. I have no idea. And these are AB crystals. And it has a pendant right here. So let's give a measurement on this. And we will do... I'll, um, I say we will do. <laughs> um, let's just... Let me just do 14 on this one. Oh, the helicopters are out so early in the morning. I wonder if they're looking for somebody. I think you guys could hear. Hear that? It is loud. Okay, so this one, the drop on this one is actually pretty long. It's nine and a half. It's nine and a half. Very dainty, but quite stunning. Look at that. Okay, so, um, what else? Oh, I got a real treat for you guys. Okay, so I got this. This is actually Victorian antique sterling silver bracelet. I won this in a bid. I kind of paid up for this too, but let me see here. She is an old piece. Look at that. It's a snake. It's a snake. The clasp goes in the mouth like this and you wear her. Look at all that work. That takes a long time. A long, long time. So, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain what... There's a slight little problem with this one. She goes in good with the clasp, but when you open her up, you got to like... You got to pull... You gotta pull <laughs> nobody's I don't know if anybody doesn't want to deal with this so you pop you pop it in like that and then when you open it you cannot pull straight out you got to go like south that's because if you pull it straight it's just something that's just you know if you pull it straight out she's not going to open so you pull it down and this is all solid sterling it says right there, I tested her. And there's actually one on Posh for sale. They want like 
I think it's almost like three hundred dollars. They want like two seventy or something like that. But because you know she's different and she needs to be opened um, a little bit more with care. Um, let's just do um, ninety on this one. And the measurement is going to be, she's probably like seven and a half, seven and a half, yeah, she's seven and a half. Look at that. What a cute thing. I'm not really into snakes, but when I see a really good piece, I'm all about it. Okay, so <clears throat> I have this necklace, and this one is actually going to be $15, and I've actually have had this necklace before, and I sold it pretty fast, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, I'm just really drawn to it, so they are like, um, what are they, what kind of flower, chrysanthemums? Look at how cool that is. So we're going to do 15. It looks like there's an extender. And I will give a measurement on the drop. So I like visually how the jewelry is coming out in the light box. But it is more challenging. It is. It's not. It's not an easy task, especially trying to, since I'm trying to get, you know, um, every inch of the piece. So the drop on this is eight and a half, and it's eight and a half the necklace, and you could make it smaller. You could bring it up. See, when I go like that, it looks dark, but when I face it. Towards the light, you could see better. Okay. Um, okay, so I got this really fun piece. This one is going to be 25. Okay, so I saw all this stuff, right? And I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. And I was like, uh, this is not glass. This is acrylic. But I was very caught. My eye caught on this. I tested this. And what I thought it was is it's jade. It's orange jade. And the carving, I don't know. I think it's a pig. It's a piggy. It could be year of the pig. It looks like it has a stout. And if somebody doesn't really care for, um, you know, the, this necklace part or they like it, they could always um, take this off and put it on a bracelet. Because I do have like a little, I have orange jade and it's like, a, it looks identical. And it's um, it's on a bracelet, a stretch bracelet that I have. So let me give the drop measurement on this. And okay, that's not helping me. The drop on the the drop on this is 14 inches. So I'm measuring from this point to the apex, which is the drop is 14 inches. Okay. And that is real jade. Everything else is acrylic. <clears throat> oh, I have this beautiful piece here. So um, this one is going to be 40 
Okay. So this is a piece. It is from Mexico and it is all stirring. Look at the chain on this. I love that. Now, I don't know what stone this is. At first, I was thinking Sleeping Beauty turquoise. However, this is from Mexico. And where is that mine from? Uh, I believe the mine is in Arizona. So it's not a, it's a possibility that some Sleeping Beauty made it into Mexico, but I would think it would be the other way around. Like if Mexico had a turquoise mine, it would, it would go most likely from Mexico into the United States versus the United States and to Mexico. So I don't know. I cannot. I, I don't know what kind of stone this is. Um, if this is Sleeping Beauty, <laughs> it's it's val it has a good value on it. There is a good chance, though, that it could just be dyed onyx. Mexico's infamous for onyx. They have a lot of onyx over there. And let me give the drop on this, the measurement. Okay, I'm losing. Oh. Okay, it has this little extender. So you could tighten it up. So the drop on this is eight and three quarters, eight and three quarters. Such a beautiful piece. Look at that. <clears throat> okay, I have a few more pieces left. This one is... Oh, it looks so dark. It's not. Let me see here. Let's let's zoom in a little bit. It's actually not that dark. The stones. It looks extremely dark. Hmm. Okay. Do you guys see the stones? These are all real, except for. These teal colored ones. These teal colored ones are um, are glass. And I don't know what kind of stone this is. Um, I want to say, I really want to want to say, uh, I don't know. Is it is it? A, it's some form of an agate. Well, that one is. I see lines. Uh, it reminds me of the ocean. Okay. So, um, this, you know, it could be used as a necklace. This obviously was handmade or it could be taken apart and restrung. And I would, I would definitely use these as... I would use these in a bracelet. They're beautiful. Okay, so if anybody wants this, we will do um, 13. I'm going to show you, though, what's different about this one. On this bead right here, it looks like they did like kind of like a double tie knot. It's going over the bead, you know? I mean, it was handmade, you know, so... <clears throat> and the drop on this is seven inches seven inches okay i'm gonna change up the filter i don't like how that looks let me i'm gonna come right back okay i just changed the filter i don't know if there's a huge huge difference but I wanted to get more of the colors um, 
Mm. It's just so hard with the to try to. I mean, it it they look the same. It's just in person they're they're more green. I would say they have more of a greenish hue. But let's move on. I had to get a charge on my phone. It was about to die. My phone literally was at 5%. So I have this stretch bracelet. And I actually got it with the necklace. And I'm keeping the necklace. Um, so I tested this. And these are real stones. Some chips are jade, orange jade. And the rest are not. So you have pieces of jade in here. And I'm pretty sure the other ones are like agate, possibly carnelian. But there are some pieces of jade in here. So if anybody wants this, um, we could do eight. We'll do eight dollars on this one, okay? Mm, let's back out. Now, I found this gorgeous piece. And of course... Um, okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, I thought something broke. It didn't. So, this one is going to be 30. Oh my god, my cats. Hold on. Okay, I just wanted to make sure my cats were okay. I heard some ruckus and... Okay, anyways... Um, okay, funny thing about the Presidium. So this is, this. these are all real stone. Actually, I didn't test those. Those might be glass, these little round ones. But all these orange pieces right here, this is all stone. Now some of you are probably looking at this saying, oh, I know what that is. So I bought this on a chance that I knew it was stone because I, I didn't see no bubbles in it. But with what I did was when I used the presidium to test it, when I was hitting this spot right here, it was it was pinging for jade. But then when I moved it, it was like it was like non jade. It was like another stone, like quartz or something. Um, I don't know if this is orange jade. Some of it was pinging for it, and then it was pinging on other stuff. And so these faceted orange beads are stone. We have a vintage all clasp. Oh, look at how cute that is. And it says something right there. I didn't even know that. Let's see what it says. Uh -huh we could read or if I could read that um it's probably like gold filled or something uh, mm, possibly 925 I have to get my loot um all right let me go grab that Okay, so I got my loop, and it just basically says like 585 CN loop. Um, the little clasp um, from China. Um, the drop measurement on this is almost nine. It's like eight and three quarters. Okay. This is a beautiful... So anyways, as I was saying... My cats are hot dogging around. <laughs> oh my god, they're playing around like dogs, I swear. So, anyways, my presidium was pinging jade on part of this stone, beautiful Hawaiian looking flower. These are stones as well. I don't know what they are. Um, is there a possibility that there's a hybrid of two stones? Yes, because there's um amethyst and citrine, a metrine. Um, I don't know if that's lab created or if it's real, but I've seen that where two stones um, can grow and merge together. So anyways, this one's 30. 
and it's just a beautiful piece it is just so beautiful i love it let's give a close-up okay so moving on to the next piece i only have i think like two pieces left and that will um end the video so this one i got because i knew it was stone it is just a memory wire um bracelet and it could be you know for any wrist size so when i use the presidium these little square rounded beads were testing positive for jade okay but the round ones are not jade these little round baubles are not jade uh, they could be an agate you know i didn't even it could be some of these could be carnelian i don't know um for this one let's just do 12 we'll do 12 um, I mean, anything with jade is, you know, always a beautiful piece to have. And last but not least, this one is actually going to be, um, 22. This one's 22. And I believe... I really believe like this piece, this piece, and this piece, I, I believe that that this all came from the same household. It just has um, similar stones and like, it's just like a similar um, style and genre. So, Let's give a drop measurement on this, and then I'm going to go into ex showing you what stones are on here. So the drop on this is... It's about 13 and a half, relaxed. And when I say relaxed, it's because the cord is stretchy. So... When I was testing this, and there's like different stones on here. A lot of the stones, not all, but like the ones in this area were testing positive for jade. But they were not all hitting jade. So you prob we probably have, you know, quartz, like clear quartz right there. Um... Oh, I didn't even see these purple ones. That might be amethyst. And then what I really like about this is right here. Do you see the, these little orbs that they added? I love that. Look, it's so whimsical. Um, some companies call these moon glow beads. Okay. So these are stones, but they're not, uh, it's not a hundred percent jade, only some, I don't know how many, there's so many of them. I, I just know like a good handful of them did test positive for jade and others are like quartz. I don't know, maybe some Jasper Carnelian. It's just a, it's a really beautiful piece. So, I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe somebody found a piece that they want to bring home. Like this lovely antique sterling silver. I don't know what you would call this. A snake? A serpent? I think it's a snake. bracelet
and I will see you guys on the next one. And you guys have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you're at in the world. Soho California Vintage, signing off.